Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here, Lagos 10 Buying Guides, Gold Edition. Gold is very exciting because for many, this is the package they like to jump in at. Not only in the Gold Edition do you get all of the features in Lagos 10, but also it's at this level that many of the libraries start feeling like they're fully fleshed out, like you're getting a really nice product. Don't get me wrong, I love Lagos at all the levels up until now, but in many of the lower base packages, you feel like you're cutting things out that you'd really like to have, and I love gold because you have a lot of fleshed out products. Now, just wanna remind you, down in the description below, down in the timeline, just go ahead and jump to the chapter that you're interested in, trying to make it easy to navigate for you. Also, wanna let you know, I'm gonna highlight resources for new users, existing users, but again, if you're getting that base package, you get all of those resources that I mentioned, okay? I'm just trying to pick ones that I think might be of interest to different parties. Also, I want you to know, because these packages are a little bit more fleshed out, this is where they start diverging a little bit, okay? You're gonna see a difference between packages that are focusing on commentaries, and you're gonna wanna compare and contrast those because oftentimes they're gonna be introducing different commentaries at this level, and those packages that are foregoing commentaries or just putting a small emphasis on them because oftentimes they're not investing in commentaries because they wanna give you something different, very unique offering, okay? now. Gold is the $1,549.99 level full retail value, and I just want to jump in right now. All right, gold standard. Here you are getting an emphasis on historical interpretive research, and I say that because of a specific resource that I'm going to mention here in a second. Before I say that resource, though, I just want to say new purchasers, you're going to like the Osborne New Testament commentaries. This is 12 volumes. These are called verse-by-verse -verse commentaries. That's kind of the series by Grant Osborne, and they're middle of the road in terms of complexity. I really like that about them. They're not too complex, but they're not too simplistic either. You're just going to get a nice treatment and this is often a go-to resource if you want to jump in first and then go ahead and decide from there whether or not you want to dig deeper okay for existing owners upgrading here's the resource that i was hinting at that's focusing all of the attention on historical and interpretive research these are the bible blackwell reception history commentaries okay these are new to logos 10 and they're a very unique commentary set they're not cheap so a lot of your value is tied up in these in fact i feel like gold standard is putting a lot of their eggs in this basket Check this resource out to see if you're going to like it. These commentaries actually focus on the reception of individual books of the Bible down through history. So you can see how different groups, different peoples have actually received many of these different books. They're completely unique to your library, so make sure that's what you want. All right, Anglican Gold is a commentary boost for those who are avoiding these Blackwell reception history commentaries. They forego them in order to throw in some other good commentaries instead. So for new purchasers, you're gonna like Pillar, 15 volumes. For many, these are the gold standard when it comes to New Testament study and research. Very solid offering here from a more academic perspective. I really, really like them. Also, Bible Speaks Today, 55 volumes. Really good set. Nice to get so many volumes right here in a gold base package. And you're going to be able to consult these and fill in the gaps for anything where you want some quick research to get done. Also, guys, the ACCS, the Ancient Christian Commentary on the Scriptures, 29 volumes. This is a great set. I've talked about it before. This is what you want if you're looking at what ancient Christian writers have said about the text itself. So the early church fathers, what are their comments? What do they have to say about Romans? Just go ahead and go to the passage. You're going to really like this one. For example, Existing owners upgrading. You're getting an emphasis on Augustine here. The Fathers of the Church series, 30 volumes, Augustine. I like that this is here. Augustine is always a great read. It seems like no matter what tradition you're in, Augustine's a good voice to consult, and I love that it's being offered at this level. All right, Baptist Gold is also focused on commentaries, but these commentaries are of the more accessible variety. Not as technical, not as academic. So for Baptists, you're getting Believer's Church Bible Commentary, 33 volumes. This is a good set. Again, it's kind of middle of the road in terms of complexity. So I like it. It's pretty accessible, and I think you're going to like consulting it. Also, the Biblical Illustrator, 60 volumes. This is a tad dated, but you'll be surprised. If you dig into these commentaries, I have been impressed every single time I've consulted them. They don't have the current academic discussions about the verses, but man, if it's not pretty good in-depth research, at least for its time, I love reading these. 
for existing owners upgrading. You're getting the complete biblical library, 39 volumes. This comes from Word Search, and I believe that it's the earliest package in which this newer Word Search resource is available. Put out primarily by Gregory Lint. Check this one out because a lot of your value is being tied up with the complete biblical library. Now, Luther and Gold doesn't go the commentary route. They're focused on a more church history emphasis, okay? New purchasers, you are getting a commentary, but again, it's of a historical variety. This is the Reformation commentary on Scripture. This is similar to the ACCS that I talked about earlier, but rather than going back to the church fathers, it instead goes back to Reformation authors, okay? So you're going to like consulting this resource if you really like Reformation theology, but if not, you may want to pass. For existing owners upgrading, you're getting the Carta Understanding series. This is 22 separate volumes on a variety of historical topics associated with the church and just with general history. These are really neat volumes. Oftentimes they're very unique and you may be consulting a monograph that you almost have no other resources that touch on that topics. So check these ones out and make sure that you're going to want them. Also, guys, I like that it's being offered here, Jaroslav Pelikan's five-volume Christian Tradition Series. This is highly recommended by many, many in the field. I actually started purchasing these volumes in print before I knew Logos was going to get them. I love to see that they're now in Logos and available for us. That's very nice in this package. All right, guys, Messianic Jewish Gold, Torah and Old Testament studies regarding Israel, just what you would expect. For new purchasers, the JPS Tanakh Commentary Collection, I think you're going to like this one. It's very unique in terms of its offering. There aren't a lot of commentaries like these, and you can really get lost just digging through these entries. Not only that, existing owners upgrading. Look at the Fruchtenbaum course on Israelology. Now, this is a mobile ed course. So if you don't like mobile ed or you don't use it very much, you might want to pass on this package. Some of your values being tied up in this course. But if you do like mobile ed, I love that this one is being offered here. And I think you're really going to enjoy it. Also, guys, another resource that you're going to want to look at here are the theological lexicons of the Old Testament and the New Testament. This is six volumes, three volumes each. These are always good to consult, especially in early research. I like that they're here. All right, Methodist and Wesleyan Gold, there is so much commentary emphasis in these packages, and it seems from level to level. They just haven't introduced commentaries here at Gold. They just keep rolling them out over and over and over again. So if you like Methodist and Wesleyan packages, probably because you love of having just a robust library of commentaries. For new purchasers, check out the Whedon's commentary on the Old and New Testament. This is 14 volumes. It's a little bit dated, but there are great outlines within this commentary and a really good discussion overall. I think you're going to enjoy it. For existing owners upgrading, Pillar New Testament commentary, 15 volumes, fantastic to see. Not only that, guys, the Tyndale 48 volume commentary set as well. I love the Tyndale commentaries. They represent great bang for the buck. So when you see them in a package, you're getting a lot of volumes for a really good price. I love that they're included here. Also, a resource to look out for, the Nelson Old Testament and New Testament survey and teaching outlines. I think this is a really nice boost to this package, and I think you're going to enjoy perusing it. Hey guys, moving on to Orthodox Gold. Orthodox Gold is focused on ancient Christian writers and texts. That's the emphasis. New purchasers, check out the popular Patristic series. 57 volumes, 23 of these volumes are dedicated to the anti-Nicene fathers, okay? So I think you're really going to like the spread here, and I love all of these popular patristic books. Digging into them is so much fun. You can just get lost in these works, and they are fantastic for in-depth study. To shore up that in-depth study, we've also got the Oxford handbooks that are focused on ancient Christian studies. I've mentioned these Oxford handbooks before. I really like them. I love to see them introduced here, and when you're getting those ones that are specifically targeted targeted at your tradition, you know you're not wasting any of your value on books you're not going to be reading. Pentecostal and charismatic gold has a historical background focus. That's what jumped out at me. New purchasers, you're getting some general monographs on Pentecostalism. Very nice. And existing owners upgrading several resources to be interested in here. Fire Bible, okay? I have seen a lot of people putting out there that they want to see the Fire Bible in Lagos. Well, here it is available to you in Pentecostal and Charismatic. Awesome resource. 
Not only that, guys, the historical emphasis doubling down on Carta, some specific and unique resources. The Raging Torrent, inscriptions from Assyria and Babylon related to Israel, cool to see, and under the yoke of Asher, an Assyrian focus as well. Very neat to see these historical background resources. I think you're going to like them. All right, guys, Reformed Gold, we're focusing in on systematics and Reformation authors, okay? Make sure that's your interest. For new purchasers, Calvin's letters, very cool. Always love reading Calvin. And here you get to see a lot of his letters, which lends a little bit of insight and clarity on this historic individual. Not only that, guys, a little more of a systematic theological focus, the contours of Christian theology. Now, these are individual volumes written by individual authors, but you put the full set together, and now you've got a fantastic systematic theology. Really nice to see. Existing owners upgrading, I think you're really going to like the Reformation commentary on Scripture. This is the resource similar to ACCS, but is for Reformation era authors, not only offered in Lutheran, but also here for Reform. Seventh day Adventist gold, solid exegetical study from an Adventist approach, okay? I was really happy to see many of the exegetical resources included here. For new purchasers, you're getting a lot of SDA resources, the Law Rondell articles and lectures, and the Darkom series. This is a Daniel and Revelation committee series. Very cool. As you guys know, the book of Daniel, book of Revelation, very important to SDA theology. I'm glad you're seeing an emphasis on the resources here. Not only that, guys, but to shore up the theological research, the Journal of Adventist Theological Society, okay? So you're also getting several journal entries that I think you're going to love to peruse. Existing owners upgrading, the concise B DAG. I like to see the exegetical focus here on the original Greek, and I think you're going to like the BDAG here. Also, the NAC commentary series here. I like to see that they're including a very good, robust, exegetical resource in this commentary series. It's known to be very conservative, but you're not missing out on much, and there's a lot of value packed into these volumes. All right, guys, let's check out Verbum Gold. Deeper academic and critical study is the name of the game here. It seems like what Verbum is doing now with a lot of their packages is they're just taking a lot of general sets and resources and getting giving you a few volumes here, a few volumes there, and you're going to slowly fill out the collections over the base packages. For gold here, new purchasers, Anchor Yale Bible Dictionary, really well-known Bible Dictionary. Some consider it top in the field. Love that it's being offered at this level. Not only that, guys, a very interesting resource, the Sacramentum Mundi, six volumes. This is an encyclopedia of theology that was put together by Carl Rahner, okay? I think you're really going to like digging through this resource. Existing owners upgrading. You're getting roughly 20% of the Oxford handbooks. Like I indicated, I think they're going to keep filling those out with future base packages. And you're also getting some isolated commentaries on Aquinas and other church fathers study. So I think you're going to find those interesting. Eastern Rite, check it out. The text itself is the focus and also adding to that a little bit of an understanding of the early church, the text in the early church. For new purchasers upgrading, you're getting the Greek-English interlinear Septuagint. This focuses you on the text itself. But not only that, Emmanuel Tove's parallel-aligned Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek texts of the Jewish scripture. It's nice to see this parallel alignment so that you can look through in all of the different languages. And that's just going to help you with your studies. Focusing in on existing owners who are upgrading, Worship in the Early Church and Anthology series put together by Lawrence Johnson, four volumes. Very interesting set here. Not only that, the ancient Christian text commentaries. This is similar to the ACCS, but it's put out from a different publisher. They're fantastic. I love to see them. And Oxford handbooks that are centered on this tradition specifically. Sacramental, Maximus the Confessor, etc. All right, guys, Ordinariate Gold is focused on church history and in-depth topical study, okay? For new purchasers, you are getting many of the papal encyclicals. And if you like these encyclicals, you're going to love that they're being offered here in Lagos for you. For existing owners upgrading, several works from the Oxford History of the Church series, which is great, and I've already been lauding them, but the Oxford handbooks, they only left a few out when it comes to Ordinariate. You're not getting Bonhoeffer, Bart, or Luther, but if you're in the Ordinariate tradition, you probably don't want those ones. Best not to waste your money. Okay, guys, at this point, I do want to include 
one academic base package in the discussion. Now remember, academic base packages have a completely different feature set than the gold base packages. So you're not actually getting the full feature set with this one. You're getting some highlighted features. Check out our video if you have any questions on which features you're getting. But academic professional offered at the $1,549.99 level, you're getting a word level study that's supplemented by critical commentaries, okay? So you're giving a little little bit up on the features, but in order to invest in focusing on word level study and critical commentaries. New purchasers, Theological Dictionary of the Old Testament, 15 volumes, Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. So good to see both of these offered. If you want to dig in deep into the original languages, you want these resources. Not only that, guys, the international critical commentary and all of the new volumes being offered there. This is a huge critical commentary set. It's really well known, been in publication forever, and many of these commentaries are actually standards in the field. I love to see them at this level. Existing owners upgrading, couple other critical commentaries as well. Arminea, which is a well-known series that has a lot of volumes, and uniquely, the Arminea series often offers volumes on even those deuterocanonical books as well. That's good to see. And you're also getting the Old Testament library, which I think you're going to like those resources to supplement your commentary set. All right, guys, that is it for my gold reviews. Let me just give you my best buy and my runner-up. For my Best Buy, I've got to give it to Anglican. There are some hard-hitting commentary sets here in Anglican, and they gave them to you early here in gold. Don't get me wrong. Some of these commentary sets show up in later base packages for other traditions, but I didn't see so many hard-hitting commentaries so early as I saw in Anglican. Love it. Guys, for my runner-up, it may be a surprise to you, but I got to pick Ordinariate. First off, I love all of the Oxford handbooks, and this is one of the earliest base packages where you're getting nearly all of them. I love to see that, and I think you're going to enjoy digging through them. But not only that, guys, the papal encyclicals, okay? I am not of this tradition, but if you are of this tradition, you are going to love having these in Lagos, and so I think this package packs a lot of punch. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching our Logos 10 buying guide on the gold base packages. Appreciate you hanging out. Take care. God bless.